What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we have a tips and tricks video for you. This is the first time I've ever done something like this so if you do enjoy it let me know in the comment section below that you would like to see more tips and tricks videos but today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks on how to expand your rank getting a higher ranking as you can see I've had the game for less than 24 hours now and I'm already rank 18 not only that but I have my first level 10 we're going to be talking about how you can level up your characters faster and get that higher ranking along with prestiging and all that kind of good stuff first off the quest board the quest board is probably your biggest friend when it comes to getting levels for many different reasons let's check it out if you guys don't know the quest board is where you can do quests for each the plants the zombies and on multiplayer so you got some different stuff this is similar if you were used to garden war for one style leveling up so you'll have different you know challenges either like achieve 30 multi vanquishes as a plant or zombies, you can do Vanquish 15 Cacti. You can only take on so many challenges at one time, as you can see on the left. So I'm making my way through these. Most of these are zombie ones, and you earn prizes for these. Now there are different rewards depending on what quest you do. If you do a plants or a zombies quest, you can see you get stars and you get one XP multiplier pin, which I'll get into in a moment. And then if you do multiplayer quests, you get coins. So for now, if you want to focus on leveling up as fast as possible, you're going to want to ignore multiplayer quests and do all plants and zombies quests. Um, why that is is because stars can help you gain more levels, we'll get into that soon, but pins are really important. As you can see in the bottom, I have completed 5 quests, so that has given me a 1.25 times multiplier across all of my characters no matter where I am playing. So if I do enough quests, I can eventually get a 2 times multiplier for my XP, which is huge. You're gonna be getting twice as much XP. It's gonna be twice as easy to level up your characters. So you're going to wanna do that as soon as possible. Not only that, but you can sometimes have epic quests, which you can see by the gold little medallion on the bottom right of the quest. They will give you a bigger reward, but are usually most likely a little more difficult. Now you can see here, this one gives you 10 stars, which is actually a pretty big deal. Now at any point you feel like you took on a quest that might be a little too difficult, you can press Y to cancel it, just like that. So now I can maybe pick one that's easier, or maybe will give me a bigger reward, like the Petal of Honor. So now we'll be getting into some other stuff as well. So basically, um, when it comes to leveling up, the best advice I have for you guys is to play the game modes you're good at. Um, because you get experience for doing everything, but you get more experience if you know how to play the game mode. If you're playing, you know, gardens and graveyards, but you never summon zombies, you never actually get on the point, you're only focusing on vanquishes, and you're not really playing the game mode, and because of that, you don't get as much experience as if you were probably playing, like, Team Vanquish. So I suggest that you do what you're good at. If you're really good at Team Vanquish, play a lot of Team Vanquish. If you're really good at Garden Ops, play a lot of Garden Ops. You can actually get a lot of bonuses is by just playing the game modes you're really good at and getting the benefits from it. But if you play a game mode you're not really good at, say Gnome Bomb, and you're never playing the game like, you know, subject, like you're never touching the gnome, you're never fighting for the point, then you're probably not gonna get as much XP as you would otherwise. But let's move back to the stars conversation. Why are stars so darn important? Well, there's actually a little bit, I wouldn't call it a secret area, but an area you need to explore this world to find if you want to go and find this area. There is somebody who can help you if you're looking to get experience so we're gonna go and find him right now he's actually down in these sewers that you can see in the center of the map a plant or zombie can come down here it does not matter so now that we're down here what is so important you can see already a little checker right here we want to be able to go over here and this is a fish out of water no our job isn't to throw him back in in fact he will actually give you experience for stars now there are other ways you can spend stars that i'll be getting into in a moment but for now if you're looking for a quick way to grab experience and you don't mind missing out on potential coins or anything like that then i highly suggest you try with the fish because he will give you experience no questions asked and it can be a pretty good benefit if you're looking to level a character up to level 10 super duper quick now if you're curious as to what else can be opened with stars there are chests all over the map that you can open up and these will give you different prizes from my knowledge the prize is randomized the first time I opened this chest in the first episode of the series we got 25,000 coins which is a pretty big bonus so if we open this up you can see we might be able to get something here Ooh. It looks like we actually got a backyard item. I'm not too familiar with what that is, but you can see you get different rewards. So if that's not something you're interested in, most definitely make sure you go and get the fish bonus. 
Now I wanted to talk a little more about ranking. Like I said, I'm rank 18 with about 24 hours of the game being out for me. So I've played about five hours, I'd say, maybe six. So I'm rank 13 in that amount of time, that's about two rankings an hour. Now you gain a level or a ranking about every time you level up a character. The more ranks you get, the harder it is to rank up, of course, but leveling up your character is key to ranking up. So definitely just keep getting those character levels and you'll have a higher rank before you know it. With that being said, we can also do a few other things. Once you reach level 10 as a character, which is the max level you can reach as a character, you can go over to their stats and actually promote them or prestige them, whatever you like to call it, this is where you can do that. So we can give one promotion to the Colonel Corn, a promotion is available, and doing this you can say promote Colonel Corn from beginner to specialist. Promoting will reset your Colonel Corn level one. You'll be rewarded with a new title and character plaque. So we can do that and we just, everybody knows now that we have been promoted, which is pretty darn cool if you ask me we also get 20,000 coins so definitely worth doing so with that being said pretty darn cool that's about all the tips I have right now for leveling up if you guys have any tips and tricks you'd like to give out to people make sure to leave them in the comment section below I'm not perfect so I'm sure I forgot something but with that being said let me know what level you guys are what's your ranking what's your favorite character to you know promote all that kind of cool stuff I would love to know in the comment section below but either way let me know what you think about this tips and tricks video would you like to see more like this but for now thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like share it with your friends and family and of course just comment in the comment section below but either way thank you guys so much for watching I will see you next time. Bye-bye.